Yes, you read that right. South Africa had a cult. You were probably part of it. And now, prepare to get enlightened. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Imagine, you're back in the late 2000s. The school day had ended and you and your friends went outside to just play. General merriment ensues, all the while we get rid of the stresses from the school day in anticipation of the holy tide. Everyone is playing until that one kid screams out. Everybody runs inside. The streets are silent. The ground is littered with playthings. The doors shut behind us as we await the little green alien to bestow greatness. It has begun. The cult I'm talking about is the Church of Anime, brought to us by the good old SABC2. Yeah, for those that think I'm exaggerating when I call this a cult, no, 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 it was a cult. It was followed religiously Monday to Friday, same time, every time. Nobody missed it, and when the general episode was over, everyone went outside and discussed it. That feels like a cult to me. But then again, I might be wrong. But, in, uh, but other than that, shush, let's get back to the story. Back to the topic. The SABC2 had captured the minds of young South Africans with what we colloquially called Deep Or Pie. And yes, while there were other channels, they broadcast American and or European cartoons. And they also had like conflicting times. So it's like you'd get one channel playing one thing the same time the other one was playing something. Unfortunately for them, the SABC2 was smarter than them. They chose one time when no other show and no other channel was broadcast and they monopolized that with the greatest source of entertainment from the land of the rising sun, anime. Clearly there was no competition here. They played heavy hitters like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, GX, Naruto, Naruto Shippuden. They played most of the big six. Yes. Previous big six and 90 whatever's big six. Big three. Oh, come on. That was my and many others gateway to the greatness that is anime. And while I look at those times with great joy, kind of sad when I look at it now. Because as the years went on, yeah. The South African channels just started taking a big dip when it came to children's anim animation or entertainment. It was mainly because of the cost issues of buying and licensing anime and also the corruption that is known for South Africa. And also the DSTV and of course the internet. With, uh, with all that, with that trifecta of doom, there was no way these channels would have survived. But such is the march of progress, I guess. But what are your guys' memories about that time? What was your first anime? And what was, and how were you exposed to that greatness? I'd love to hear those stories. Go to the comment section. Leave a like. Spread the video. I'm trying a new shorter format. That's, hey, Google's back on. And if you need me, I'll be out there in the internet land. Spreading the holy works of the Church of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Play the holy hymns. I'll see you in the next video. Oh,